Hey everyone, welcome to Mom Plays. Uh, I'm Mom, hello. Um, problem, dog meat quit opening doors for me. All right, so I'm gonna do a bonus Fallout video um, today. This is uh, Hangman's Alley, which I will show you where that is. So if you see here is Diamond City and uh, the market and the sewers, uh, Hangman's Alley is just north of there. Let's bring out the map. Um, there is Backstreet Apparel and the wreck of the USS Riptide. So it is kind of along the shore. If I come out here, there's the shore right there. Well, like river shore, I guess. Um, so this is Hangman's Alley. Uh, this is the first settlement build that I did that I really, 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 really worked on. So uh, the, for the last hour and a half, literally hour and a half, I have been placing items in here so that it really looks lived in so I hope you all like what you see so here's the front door where I floated a uh, shelf so for my uh, machine gun turrets and a spotlight and a laser turret up there so let's come on in nice little mushroom lighted path when you come in and this is my place So I tried to do it so I didn't close in the alley. I've watched a lot of builds. They've been really fun to watch. Um, other people's takes on some of these areas and how to build it. Um, I know a lot of people closed them in, which is all good and well, but I wanted it to be open and airy like, like a market. You know what I mean? Like an old fashioned market. So first, when you come to the right, Seems to be oh, harvest well. you. It does seem to be growing well. Harvest you was I talking to you? All right, so when you find this place and uh, clear out everything, this is the only building you can't clear out. And I uh, I turned it into a uh, yeah, generator room to power everything. And um, I fell in love with the little mushroom lights, so I had to mushroom light all these. And all the stairways have little mushroom lights next to it, you'll see little garden area over here and uh, my cow area because I got tired of the cow wandering everywhere so now he's stuck here and so are half my settlers have the did you just yawn at me oh, I should beat you up okay so over here I've got another hey I was looking for you earlier why are you guys glitched here they've been standing here the entire time that I've been like building and stuff. Okay, so anyway, I can't pick up that Nuka-Cola, but uh, another garden area back here. And then, of course, here's where your um, workshop bench is. And this little milk guy fit perfectly in here, and the Nuka-Cola machine didn't fit in there, so I put milk here with an Edatronic. Whoa! Dude. Besides being creepy... Anyway... All right, one of my cups is already gone, but um, here is the little chess playing area with our cooking station. Our little workbench area. There's a weapons and an armor's workbench with their associated things. I'm so in love with this. And then don't ask me about these stairs. It is the funniest story as to why those stairs are there, but they're there. Um, okay, then we've got our weapons dealer. And he's got his shelves full of, you know, guns and weapons and mines and stuff. He is dressed like the guy in Diamond City, so he could sell you his swada. Okay. Swada. Anyway. Um, and then you kind of come up here and you come to... The clinic and the general store so of course I've got my clinic stuff back there there's buff out and all sorts of things on those shelves and then our general store guy has food stuffs on his and if you're wondering why it's not wall-to-wall -wall stuff it's because the game wouldn't let me place things on this shelf or in this space or over there or the game is really picky about how it lets you do that it's, it's kind of annoying so this is the market area, just the three stores. 
Now we've got this the second entrance here. And then if you come over here, we've got, you know, our little uh, art workbench for our scrappers and my power station area. This is my area. Water and a guard post. And I floated another shelf and it took forever for me to float that shelf at the right height, let me tell you. But another floating shelf with, I think it's a shotgun turret and a laser turret. And then of course the power for it's in there. All right, now I'll show you my houses. I'm just very proud of this place. So this is kind of like the executive suite here, one of them. It's got a nice large porch with a smoking area and grill. Open the door and you've got your three beds in here. A couple of tables with a couple of things on them. And of course storage. There's a couple of foot lockers in here for storage. Are you just are you just gonna sit there, dog meat? All right. Well, I'm gonna move you out of my way, cause uh, and then I'm gonna shut the door on you, cause you're in my way. All right. So that's house number one here. Not too shabby. Hope you ain't one of them sins. That's fine. And then come up the stairs here oh, to this is the main platform on the on the se upper level so I've got my seating area here and then my walkway to the other houses there another guard post that faces the entrance and this is the guard post shack a couple of beds a couple of things I don't know why but every time I try to put a, an American flag out it sits halfway in the middle of things it's the weirdest yeah. crap mm, yep so that's the guard house there and then to our house. right is another gal wow that's pretty whiny of you will you quit pushing me all right and then this is a, a three-bedroom shack. It's just got, you know, some games to play and something to drink, places to sleep, nice pictures on the wall. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Bitch. Excuse me. Don't make me knock everything over. Uh. Is it? Is it as honest as you can get? Uh, uh, uh. I hate it when they do that. And this this town, I am not going to help defend Finch Farm. I'm in taping, bitches. All right, I, this settlement is the worst for glitchy settlers. I think they they don't go where you assign them. Um, they stand like for eons. I had somebody that just stood here, never moved. Every time I came, was standing there. We'll go up there in a minute. Uh, whoa! Thanks, dog meat. Uh, two bedroom shack, a couple places to sit, little plant, you know, in the corner. Looks half dead. It might be dead. And then you come on this way, and you've got a couple of my hanging places. So there's this one, and this one took forever to get like where I wanted it. But it's another two bedroom, but it's got a little luxury deck, deluxe deck on the side of it. Yeah. A little bit of houseplant ambiance. And then if you come down and go over. Da -da -da. This is the four bedroom um, uh, duplex. <laughs> Do bed. There's a couple things out here. Little little side porch right here. A little table to sit at. And then of course beds because mostly you better be working your ass off in my settlement. Not trying to sleep and laze around. Alright, and then we come this way. And we're going to go upstairs before we go down. So here is the last guard house. The second guard house. There's our little guard post overlooking making sure 
and uh, we've got our little smoking sitting area. And then this is the funnest thing about this third level in Hangman's Alley. Now, normally you can build as tall as the tallest structure you have. Well, look, that's pretty damn tall. That's pretty damn tall. But you can only build up three floors. And let me tell you about this third floor. Come on in here. If you notice, there is nothing up on the walls up here. This is the build level here. Dun, 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 dun. You can't build anything higher, yet the game allowed me to put this whole shack up, and the door, and this plant. But when it came to decorating, it had a cow anytime anything was higher than these lights. So that's why this looks the way it does. And that's why there's nothing out on these tables. It wouldn't let me put anything out on the tables. I mean, it got weirdly picky in about it. So whatever so that's the second guard shack and these guys are lucky because they live above the nightclub we've got your cigarette machine we've got your ice machine posters to make you feel like you're awesome or something I don't know uh, then you got your uh, sitting areas on the balcony and you got your VIP lounge over here you are supposed to be manning your store. God. And then you've got this little sitting area over here. And of course the bar. Which behind it, as you can see, has shelves full of liquor bottles. Which of course the game let me put them here. But wouldn't let me put them here. Wouldn't let me put them there. So, you know yeah. What I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Well, because I love you and you are one of my settlers, you know you don't have an empty stomach. So anyway, so this is the bar. Put up the strobe lights. There's dancing at night. Which, speaking of night, now we need to take a look at, at what this place looks like at night. So we're going to sit down and wait. What time is it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll go till 7. So we'll wait, and we'll see what it looks like at night. Or mostly night, I guess. Should we wait longer? Nah, we won't wait longer. It's going to get dark anyway. So at night, you come in and you've got nicely lit guard posts that you've got for your drunk settlers they can find the stairs without killing themselves because there's little little lamps lighting the way you got your bar details are sketchy and by sketchy hold on I gotta listen to this the whole town Gone. No, Covenant is not gone. I, I hope my volume is working for you guys on this, because I'm remaking this video after the volume didn't work. You could just hear me talking, and you couldn't hear the game. Anyway, so as you see, nice little lights. We'll come over here, you can see inside one of the houses. These aren't very lighty, but you know, I figure if you're just coming in here for bed, right? Then who cares? So all of my houses have their little outdoor lights. And then let's go down to the market at night. Uh, my back hurts, my feet hurt. Don't whine at me about your back. All right, and then this is what it looks like at night when you come to the market. Which, of course, is going to close soon. What's up, Swada? Hey, Thwada, Thwada, Thwada. Nah. So it's it's pretty nicely lit, but it's not overlit to where it's so bright that, you know, it's like sunlight. I wanted to keep some ambiance. And then, of course, when you come in. But I'm going to shut this door. So that is it, you guys. That is my place in uh, Hangman's Alley. 
there's not much more to it. So I'm hoping to do a settlement video off of every settlement, even though some of them that I've done are kind of stupid. This is by far the best one I've ever done, but... <laughs> But uh, let me know what you think about my settlement in the comments below, and uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna be done with this. So you've been watching Mom Plays. You can follow me on Twitter at Tonya Treese or on my blog, mywarpedworld.blogspot.com, and I will catch y'all next time. <laughs>